Hey guys, this is David. I'm glad you stopped by. Today we're going to take a look at the Gerber LHR Tactical Knife. Along the way, we'll talk about who this knife is for and who should look for a different knife. Let's get started. LHR was designed for use in urban warfare and really anywhere you might need a reliable knife in close quarters. The LHR is the successor of Gerber's popular Mark II. The knife was designed by Matt Larson, Chris Reeve, and Bill Harsey and was named using the first letter of each of its designers' last names. These men studied hundreds of hand-to-hand -hand combat scenarios and developed a hybrid tactical knife and sheath system that is designed to give you an advantage when your life depends on it and to ensure that your blade is not used against you. The LHR is made in the good old US of A in Gerber's Portland, Oregon plant. The knife was made of 420HC stainless and is now made of 440C stainless steel and features full tang construction. Full tang knives are known as the strongest because the blade and handle are all one solid piece. My first impression of this knife out of the box was that this knife means business. That is, once I read the directions and figured out how to get the knife out of the sheath. I'll explain a little more about this later. Just looking at this knife, you can tell that it is well designed and made with a high degree of craftsmanship and care. I was impressed with how substantial, solid, and comfortable the knife felt in my hand, and honestly I was overcome by the beauty of this knife and sheath package. So let's take a look at the size. The blade is a mass of 6.87 inches with a total length of 12.5 inches. This is a really hefty knife with a solid grip, especially compared to a knife like the Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Knife that has a 4.8 inch blade and a total length of 10 inches. The LHR has a solid handle with a durable tack hide grip. Those with large or small hands will find this knife very comfortable to use with or without gloves. Since the knife is full tang construction, the rubber textured grips are pinned to the handle. The pin studs are secured well below the surface of the grip. This knife is well designed and very ergonomic. And with the contoured finger cutouts, hand guard toward the blade, and grip flare at the butt end, this knife is not likely to slip out of your hand regardless of the weather conditions or the intensity of the moment. As I mentioned, there is a solid hand guard toward the blade that will protect your hand during a fight. The bottom end of the hand guard has a bit of a hook to it that could come in handy in close quarters as well as a nicely pointed punch at the butt end. The butt end pummel will come in handy if you need to break things like glass or bone when dressing game. LHR features a serious 440C stainless steel drop point blade that's pushing 7 inches. Drop point blades are strong across the entire length of the blade and are designed for edge retention. Both the top and bottom edges of the LHR slope and converge at the point to increase this knife's ability to pierce. The blade is coated with a black matte finish that prevents reflection when you don't want to be seen. Toward the handle, there is one inch of serration to increase the blade's usefulness as a utility knife. One of the hallmarks of this knife package is its innovative quick-release sheath system with safety lock. This is a serious sheath that is designed so that only the wearer can extract the knife from the sheath in close quarters. This sheath and knife combo is crafted with such precision that there is no give or play to the knife while in the sheath. There is an elastic strap with a quality snap that holds the knife against the back of the sheath. However, it's not intended to keep the knife in the sheath. Because of the sheath and knife design, the knife is only designed to go into the sheath one way and is designed for right hand carry only. Honestly, I think it's just about impossible to remove the knife from the sheath with your left hand or for anyone else to remove it unless they came up from behind you and knew how the safety lock worked, which is really unlikely. The friction thumb locking mechanism is toward the back of the sheath. The knife is easily and quickly removed from the sheath by first unsnapping the handle strap, grasping the handle of the knife with your right hand and pushing down on the thumb lock. Donning the knife is easy enough once you learn how the thumb lock release works. However, I found the sheath a bit stubborn when it comes to putting the knife away. And one thing's for sure, 
You're not likely to lose this knife in the field. It's not going to come out of the sheath unless you want it to. The Gerber LHR comes with a complete and versatile carry system, including one of the nicest leg straps I've ever worn. It's thick and adjustable. It will fit well around small, medium, and large thighs, and it has six rows of raised rubber bumps that run the length of the strap to prevent slippage on your leg. There's a thick elastic band at one end that holds the strap snug around the thigh. This package offers nearly unlimited carrying options and is designed for securing to your belt, pack, or vest. However, the fact that there is only one way to remove the knife from the sheath and that it must be removed with the right hand will likely limit you to a few favorite carrying options like a belt carry or a chest carry. Owners rate this knife well over 4 out of 5 stars online. Folks love the design, the blade size, the craftsmanship, and the versatility and beauty of this knife. Most of the complaints seem to center around the knife safety release. Many find it cumbersome, however it's important to remember that the specific design of this sheath is to prevent your enemy from grabbing your knife, period. Once I figured out how the thumb lock worked, extracting the knife from the sheath was a breeze. However, like I said, getting the knife back in the sheath can be a challenge at times. And if you want to use this knife for hunting or camping or something like that, and you absolutely can't stand the thumb lock mechanism, it can be removed, but I don't recommend this. That being said, the side benefit of this very secure safety release is that whether you are a tactical professional, an avid hunter, or even an occasional backpacker, You'll never have to worry about this knife being dislodged from your sheath and lost on the trail, regardless of how you carry it. One thing I really love about this knife is the fact that it is made in the USA. I don't know about you, but I'm not carrying anything into battle that's made in China. There's just something totally wrong with that. So let's talk about the cost of the Gerber LHR Combat Tactical Knife. The LHR lists for an amazingly low $154, but better yet, you can get this knife online for right around a hundred bucks. So for your convenience, I'll put a link to the best price that I've found online in the video description below. Okay, so who's this knife for? The Gerber LHR Combat Knife is not for the faint at heart and those who want an easy to carry utility or survival knife. This is a big hefty knife that means business. This knife is also not for those who are dominantly left-handed. This knife is designed for right hand carry only. Also, if you want a knife that can be unsheathed without any fine motor skills, you may want to look elsewhere. Some find the quick release thumb lock to be cumbersome. To help you out, I'll put links to a few comparable alternative knives in the video description below. All this aside, the Gerber LHR is for the tactical or combat professional who wants an advantage in a hand to hand combat situation without the worry of this weapon being used against them. The LHR is also a great choice for hunting, camping, backpacking, impressing the guys, or for anyone who wants to have the biggest, coolest looking knife on the block while having the peace of mind that you own a serious blade that will serve you well if your life ever depends on it. Okay, so we've just taken a look at the Gerber LHR Combat Knife, and this is David. Subscribe to our channel and check back often for more reviews and tips on other great survival, tactical, and combat gear. Have a blessed day, and I hope to see you on the other side.